Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 874 and a Div3 contest. So we're gonna solve the second problem here that is restore the weather. So let's see what the problem states. So uh, they are telling that you have an array A and array A is a weather forecast. So forecast means what? It's just a prediction of weathers for n days. Okay, for n days we have an array. It can be like A1, A2 up till An and they also noted some actual values so the original values that happened on that day the temperature that is called as b it can be from b1 b2 up till bn same for n days but the thing is uh, this actual values the guy noted this mixed up these values so he actually wrote values on each day but what happened is he don't know uh, the temperature belongs exactly to which day but one thing he is sure he have a value called as k. So for a day, uh, the actual value and the forecast value should have a difference of at max k. That is something he has. So suppose he have, uh, he predicted that on day one, the value will be two degree and uh, on day two, the value will be hundred degree. And then he's telling that uh, while recording it, he told, okay, that day, uh, today I have a value of 99 degree and uh, on the next day i have one degree but uh, he is telling that k value can have at max two have a difference of at max two when seeing here these are actually actual values only but how do we arrange this so that the k value is the difference of actual and forecast value is minimum that is k value is closest so on the first day 99 can't come right because 97 degree is the delta that is not possible so the actual value on the first day is one degree and on the second day is 99 degree see both are satisfied k value the difference is 1 minus 2 is 1 and 99 minus 100 is 1 okay so that's all the question about so our job is they will give you the forecast value they will give you the actual values and they will also give you k which means uh, from the forecast value what could be the maximum difference that an actual value can have if it is within k also it's there no problem now if there are multiple values we can print any of it so that also they told now uh, in order to understand this further so uh, this is just an example here so let's quickly glance through this example they told that a the predicted values are 1 3 5 3 9 first day second day third day fourth day fifth day and k value is 2 that is uh, on each day the difference of the predicted the forecast and the actual values at max 2 and b is the mixed up values of the actual value now he, we need to arrange this b in such a way that it satisfies this condition so what did they do they wrote 1 3 5 3 9 together then what is the best number that can come such that it is less than or equal to k suppose we can't keep 11 right 1 minus 11 is 10 10 is not less than or equal to 2 so it's not possible so they simply kept uh, 2 here then 2 here 5 4 11 similarly they arranged there can be many combinations but we need to find the optimal way now uh, we will find for a solution that is uh, something that we can derive for in examples if you see we can't actually understand it uh, i mean it's very trivial in example so let's take a some very random example like one four five three two this is the forecast value okay this is the forecast value and uh, the actual value they are giving b value as six five three four two okay now we assumed that k value is one this is my example so uh, what do I do as a first step? What do I do? Uh, I have this, I have this. Now, if I want to arrange it to the proper days, what will I think is the K value should be minimum or the K value can be zero in this case. So instead of this, what do I do is I am uh, telling that, okay, the B can be, so option one, I am just assuming B can be the same numbers because two minus two is zero, right? Okay, two. Now three can come here. Three minus three is zero. Okay, because K value is still zero. Okay. Now, uh, let's say that for 5, 5 is here. Okay, 5 minus 5 is also 0. 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, uh, here 6 is there. Because all numbers are filled, now only I have to put 6, right? I put 6. But the problem is, you have 1 here and 6 here. 1 minus 6 is 5. K value is 5. K value is 5 is not possible. They told K value can be at max 1. Now, if you see the question properly, right? You can say that 
not the elements of array b can always be rearranged so that the equality a minus b minus k, less than or equal to k always exists so this is some valid example which i took and i say that the less than or equal to k always exists k equal to 5 can never happen there is some arrangement that is there now if you think in brute force way we can say that okay let's put for k equal to 1 let's try for all the permutations again put k equal to 2 try for all permutations because it can be k equal to 1 here it, it can happen that k equal to 0 can come k equal to 1 can come in one permutation itself many k combination can come so it becomes a bit more complex to do now uh, let's see what are the hints that we can get okay n is 10 power 5 now if you see generally right for a or b level problems if it's 10 power 5 mostly the algorithms might be n log n so let's think of the case like sorting sorting the best way is n log n uh, can we say sorting could be one approach now if you see this approach earlier 2 and 100 we just sorted right 199 why does uh, so if we sort both of them the difference between the first element the second element the third element is always minimized see if something like 1 and 100 comes and 2 and 99 comes i, I just sorted both of them so 1 and 2 the difference is 1 this is also 1 if it is not sorted it can be it can happen that the difference is more here okay so the difference is more i don't want this kind of difference in order to minimize the difference we are just sorting it sorting is the best possible way to minimize the difference since they already told in the question that this condition always satisfies for some permutation the best value is sorting now since we sorted now we understand that k value is not at all required and k value is out of the question it is just for you to confuse you and uh, no need of k value because we are already in the best method now if we sort this okay 14532 and 64532 uh, so let's write this again 14532 64532 now if we sort this let's say that if we sort this what happens it is 1 2 3 4 5 if we sort this what happens this is 2 3 4 5 6 now k value is 1 means here k value is 1 k value is 1 1 1 condition is satisfied okay both of them are sorted it's okay but in order to produce the result we should not directly print like this 2 3 4 5 6 we can't sort it wherever this one is there we have to go there and put this value so on day one this will be the result the result will be what this is 2 wherever 2 is there you put the value 3 okay wherever 3 is there you put the value 4 wherever 4 is there you put the value 5 wherever 6 is there you put the value 6 so you sorted both of them then wherever the number comes wherever the forecast value comes corresponding to that you put the uh, actual value so here the answer is 25643 based on the arrangement now we understood that uh, from sorting the difference is minimized and next thing is if we sorted the order gets changed the order should not be changed it is for n days as fixed now each of them should be corresponded with one of the element now how do we implement this we again create what we need to keep track of indices because if i say 2 it should go to the it should if i say 2 3 is the value the 3 should go to the 2's position in the first index so let's say that it's 1 4 5 3 2 uh, 1 4 5 3 2 and the index will be 0 1 2 3 4 and what is the sorted element 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 4 5 6 is the sorted let's call this is the second array second array means actual array and first will be a set of pairs okay now uh, so 1 0 is there 4 1 is there 5 2 is there 3 3 is there 2 4 is there right uh, okay so these are all the index this is all the sorting now let's try to sort this what is the first number first number is 1 0 that is already correct now second thing what should i do is this 2 4 can come here right these are all second number is the index okay now 3 3 can come somewhere here and now uh, 5 2 can go and 4 1 now i sorted these numbers now what do i do i just say that i have an array called as result see these are all the index i mapped the forecast value with the index then i sorted along with the index now in index what do i have i have zero i have one i have two i have three and i have four okay these are all the index in the result i'll mark the values here now i tell that the first element since both of them are sorted I look at the first index okay go to index 0 
and the actual value is one actual value is what uh, the uh, sorry uh, the forecast value is one the actual value can be two put two here then next next number will be on the fourth index the actual value the forecast value is two the actual value is three go to four and put it three similarly go to third index go to third index and what is the actual value that can come that is four go to first index and put five okay uh, and what is the next one two sorry this is first index right okay this is five uh, now six six should come on the second index same order okay six two five six four three did you notice this somewhere yes this is the number that we wrote so i sorted both of them then wherever the order is there i want to take that index on the order and put it to the original array so original will be two five six four three so that's all now let's see the code and try to understand it one more time so what did i do you just created all the index here i told you right so the first dot make first is a vector of pads vector of pads will have the uh, forecast the forecast the forecast on the day and the index now second comes the second means this number so second goes for this one this sorted number okay second row is there the actual values we are sorting it okay now i will sort both of them now far of i dot second means what result of far i dot second equal to second of i means this one so if you go here you can see this is far i dot second what is this result of far of i dot second equal to second of i second of i means what is the first number it will be two three four five six what do i do far of i dot second means i sorted it becomes zero so this becomes zero four three one two so it will be result of zero result of four and result of three and result of one similarly for two 0, 4, 3, 1, 2. So this sorted order I am putting it, but the index I am mapping it here. So the answer will be 2, 5, 6, 4, 3. Uh, so I would strongly suggest you to keep writing uh, and uh, practicing for other examples. So once you try for two, right, definitely you would be able to figure out. So what did we do? In summary, uh, we understood that uh, if we sort it, the difference will be minimum because if we try all the permutations, the time consume it, the time will be consumed more. So each of the time, we just take the difference when it means after sorting it. After sorting, it will be minimum. Now, uh, since we are done, we have to put it to the original day that number should be part of. For that, we are mapping it with the indexes and sorting it again. And wherever the index lies corresponding to that, I'll put the actual value. So this is the solution number. I'll link it to the description. So if you like the video, please share your comments. And if you have any doubts, please do share it. Thank you.